Hello guys, my name is Miguel and today I want to talk to you uh, about how to create a um, 4x16 decoder using a 3x8 decoder. Okay, um, the first thing you have to do is ask yourself, well, what do I want to create? The answer is for, for this uh, assignment is obvious, a 4x16 decoder and create a through table for it. So, um, as you guys can see, I already create the through table for the 4x16 decoder. Well, uh, when you create a through table, you can realize one thing about it. Um, you can divide the through table in two parts. The first part is when A is equal to zero. And the second part is when A is equal to 1. The next thing we need to pay attention is um, when we, uh, let's say, forget A, uh, the remainder variables are B, C, and D, so three variables. And for the first part of the, the through table, we can see that these three variables uh, are going to generate eight mean terms from zero through seven. And well, our decoder, the decoder we want to use is a decoder with three inputs and eight outputs. So uh, now you can see that you can use BCD as the inputs of, the, of one of the, deco the decoders. Okay, now that we know that we can use one decoder to generate the mean terms from N0 through N7. Well, to do to how to generate the rest of the of the mean terms? The answer is another decoder. So what you need, you need to use another decoder. And the thing is, see that that A on the through table this A is going to be our enabler line. This enabler line is going to be connected to both decoders, uh, but in a little bit different way. On the first decoder, on the top one, um, we are going to connect A, and at the end, we're going to put a bubble. So when A is equal to zero, this decoder is going to be active. And to connect to the other one, we are going to connect just straightforward. There's no bubble. So, which means that when A is equal to 1, the other decoder is going to be active and the first one is going to be inactive. We're going to do this because, well, uh, on the definition of a decoder, uh, we stated that only one output is going to be 1 while all the other outputs are going to have a logic zero for a specific input combination. So, okay, let's take an example. Um, if we have 0011, which is 3, um, A is equal to 0, and then this A is going to be inputted into the first decoder, but before this, this bubble is going to be inverted, and this first decoder is going to be active while the other one is going to receive a equal to zero and then um, the second decoder will be inactive for this specific combination okay so now let's take an example with a equal to one let's use 1011 which is the mean term 11 the a equal to one is going to be inputted into the first decoder but before this the a equal to 1 is going to be inverted and then the, the decoder is going to receive a 0 and the first one and it's going to be inactive. The same a equal to 1 is going to be inputted into the second decoder and making for this specific input combination the first one inactive and the second one active. If you look to the through table and apply all the values on both of the decoders with this specific uh, design, you're going to realize that you will end up having all the possible 16 combinations for our 
4x16 decoder. And with this, you just created 4x16 decoder using two 3x6 decoders. So guys, I hope you enjoyed and well, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.